Hi guys and welcome to Rockling is American Girl Doll channel. In this short disclaimer, I will show how my uh, my work falls under fair use on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in skipping this disclaimer, you can skip to um, another section in my video um, because this will be a disclaimer video in the beginning of each of my videos that I upload. Um, but a lot of my work falls under the educational use here, one of the four factors of fair use. Uh, the reason it is educational is because there's new expression or meaning um, a lot of times the products I describe, either American Girl or Our Generation or some other brand, um, a lot of times they're not actually, when they come in the mail, they do not look the way they're described. And so my purpose in my channel is to share my collection with my viewers, to provide new content in terms of um, the way my dolls look, my setups of my dolls, um, and holidays and so forth. But also sometimes it's a new expression or meaning in that... Um, the dolls actually look different than the way they've described, and this is important informational new use. It also can fall under news and critiques that also are valid um, aspects of fair use, but definitely educational for um, my viewership to understand some of the pros and cons of purchasing um, these dolls. So it's an informational video um, to help you guys understand and also enjoy your doll collections, and sometimes there are imperfections uh, in dolls and sometimes that makes dolls more valuable and sometimes it makes them less valuable and so the purpose um, here is to educate others about our collections. Um, please, I hope you enjoyed my content and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you so much. Hi guys and welcome to Rocklina's American Girl doll channel. On today's video I'm just going to do a brief update. Um, this is Blair Girl of the Year 2019. I noticed on American Girl's website, again, this is purely for educational purposes only. Um, I did notice that she's limited quantities only and therefore she is likely to be retiring soon um, or probably just selling out. Um, so since this is December and this is 2021 and they're probably making way for the new Girl of the Year, um, I would expect Blair to be selling out soon. She's a beautiful doll. Again, um, I mentioned in other videos that I initially um, did not want to purchase her um, because I saw the stock photos of her online. But upon seeing her in person, I kind of fell in love with the way that she looks in person. So I'm hoping that my little video showing her here will help you realize um, how she can look in person versus online. I kept her in her original meat hairstyle. She has lovely red hair with these giant bouncy curls. Um, she is not in her meat outfit. This is actually the uh, World Traveler in Ireland set, um, plus a cross that I added purchasing from Etsy. Um, she has green eyes. They are very, very um, kind of a deep color, but also sort of a pale color. You can see them a little bit more clearly when you see her to the side because of the way her face mold is. She has a Josefina face mold. She's the first doll to be skin tone 5, which is the palest of skin tones. Um, there's also a, like a little bit of a, I don't know if I could call it a yellow, um, but there, there's, she's the, the lightest skin tone, but there's kind of a hue to her skin tone though. Um, that's hard to describe. Um, and she has this gorgeous red hair. I really love her hair. I would say it's medium length. It's not as long as some of the wavy um, hair dolls. And she's just really cute. She has, I think, a food allergy. Um, it's either gluten or perhaps dairy. I don't remember her story that well. Um, I call her Odrada in my collection, which is a Welsh name. And so she's named after a Welsh princess. And that kind of fits what I think of as her appearance. And obviously Ireland isn't Wales, but this kind of nice little knit sweater kind of seemed like it would go nicely with her. And I just wanted to give this quick update. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions you'd like me to answer about her. Um, and if you're thinking of purchasing her, again, please not feel obligated to do so. This is just for educational purposes because um, just to let you guys keep you guys all informed as to what's going on. And so it's um, kind of education slash news um, and therefore um, is perfectly valid to share online. And um, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Keep on loving dolls. Bye.